Hey, what can I help you with? Well, I have an old musket here. I kind of like to get rid of it. I'm no expert, but shouldn't that be a little bit bigger? OK, yeah, because it doesn't really it fits like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Usually these Didn't are like Didn't really this realize big. that, but. <laughs> it has a bayonet. I'm assuming it's military. It's... Maybe it was for small soldiers. People were a little shorter back then. <laughs> Coming to the pawn shop today, I'm trying to sell an old musket. Could use extra cash for something else I want to buy. I'm hoping to get 1500 I might take 1000 Where in the world did you get this? Oh, I picked it up in a state sale. OK. It's a lot smaller than a normal military flintlock of the day. I mean, it looks late 1700s. I know there was kids in the military back then that were like 13, 14 years old. Maybe they issued them different guns. I mean, everything down to the bayonet is smaller than normal. Yeah. A bayonet for this period would be like that big. Oh, my. A typical 18th century musket is right around 60 inches long. This thing is maybe a little bigger than half that size. It's really odd. It's not a hunting rifle made for a kid. It's a military weapon. I just don't know what to make of it. So what do you want to do with it? Well, I'd like to part with it, sell it. OK. How much were you looking to get out of it? Oh, I'm thinking somewhere around 15. 100? Yes. OK. That might not be out of the question. I mean, everything looks good except for the size, which has me really concerned. Why would someone make a gun like this? I don't want this thing being a movie prop or something like that and me spending a lot of money on it. Sure, I understand. I mean, I don't think it is, but then again, I've been wrong a lot of times. OK. Do you mind if I have someone look at it? No, that'd be fine. Let me make a phone call. I'll get him down here, and we'll get this thing checked out, all right? Sounds good. It's possible this could be like a scaled-down reproduction. Or it could be a child's military musket, which would make it really rare. I've never had one before, so this is something I'm really interested in. Hey, Sean, what's up? Jump. My name is Sean Rich, and I own Tortuga Trading Incorporated, and I specialize in antique arms and armor. All right, Rick, so I'm sure you've got some questions. Fire away. Um, I mean, what is it? That's basically it. It seems like a three-quarter size gun. This is actually a half scale of a full-size musket. These were made just the same way as the full-size muskets, but for a youth. So a wealthy officer who had a child, say, 13 years old, he would teach him the proper ways to handle a musket, just like Dad, with the bayonet and everything. The other great thing about this is the maker. H. Knock is Henry Knock. Knock was one of the best and most well-known gun makers in England during the last quarter of the 18th century. So this dates between 1770 and 1780. This is just not rare, it's extremely rare. That's crazy. All I got when I was a kid was a BB gun. This is a very unique piece to find. I have never seen one of these. Not only is this special because of the size and the quality of it, but the fact that this is made by Henry Nock just puts it over the top. So what's this thing worth? <sighs> That's a very good question. I've been collecting since I was 10, and I've only seen something like this in a book. So I have to kind of go on the gut by this. I think this is so rare that in an auction setting, people would fight over it. I would expect the bid range to be in that five to 10,000 range. <laughs> <laughs> OK. You know, that's no guarantee, but it's just, that's what I'm thinking. OK, thanks, Sean. <laughs> Anytime, Rick. When he said it was worth between five and $10,000, man, I, I was bumped. That was great news. So how much you want for it? Well, he said it was worth around five. And hey, I just want to start out at five. That's not, that's not going to happen, because that's what I'm assuming I'm going to get out of it, maybe. I really think 3,000's it. How about 35? <sighs> I'll go 3,200. You know what? That, that sounds good. That sounds okay. good. All right, man. Go right him up, Chump. Right, I'll meet you over there. I fired a lot of old guns before, but I've never fired a 200-year-old musket made for a kid. So let's see what it'll do. Now, back in the day, this gun was used by probably a 10 or 12-year-old boy. The original musket would have had a 46-inch barrel, where this whole entire gun is only 46 inches. But everything in detail, again, is just half the size. But we're going to see what kind of uh, damage it will do. All right. I'm ready to defend you. <laughs> <laughs> Even though this gun was made for kids, and I'm not going to let Chum just take it and run with it, it's a good thing that I'm here. OK, we're going to load this with uh, about 70 grains of powder. 
The standard military musket would take about 100 to 120 grains. We're gonna do this with half that. Just enough to hurt me, huh? Just enough. All right, so Chum, this is your target. All right. So I'm gonna be stationing Chum about 25 feet away from the target, which is a water-filled balloon. All right, Chum, you make this, you get a bucket of greasy chicken. Now you're talking my language, Rick. Let's do this. Chum did really, really great. The first shot, he hit the target, blew the balloon up. It's a really good feeling when you pull the trigger and you actually hit the target, especially when you have an audience. No one's going to get you on here. That's right, Sean. And you get a bucket of chicken. Extra greasy. That's how I like it. <laughs> nice.